Well, night one of our road trip to Kinucopia. We're in Battle Creek, Michigan, and you promised me the murder hotel that we stayed in last year, but you know, yes. we... Well, the problem was we didn't get murdered last year. It was kind of a disappointment. So I uh, found us another murder ho hotel motel, and uh, so this is um, murder part two. <laughs> There's no blood in the ceiling. We're fine. Now, what did I do? I I, I got I did something special while you were getting gas. I went into a store yeah. to get us some nice beer to have when we got. You're so lovely, Mr. Cameron. Yeah. Thank you. Because a nice beer after a day is uh, is a great way to relax and unwind. And hopefully, you know, you don't have too many and start blowing bubbles and acting silly. But sometimes you got to do that too. So, would you like a beer? <laughs> no, because what did I get? <laughs> N.A. What's that? What's That's not applicable. What is that? <laughs> it's not alcoholic beer. I not got... alcoholic beer? What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe it? I'm so sorry. I didn't read the label. <laughs> Cheers to sobriety. Right? <laughs> Tastes like water. <laughs> I'm starting to shake. <laughs> okay, this is your fault this time. What is? Is it? <laughs> who who makes beer bottles now with it with no twist up off? Apparently, the fine folks at Moosehead Lager Exports <laughs> from wherever this is made. Who knows for sure? So we finally got. It says Canadian Lager. Oh, that's. We're gonna need more light to read that fine print. <laughs> We finally got real beer, and now we can't even open. The trip is starting off real well. It's uh, it's underway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're go we're going to the hotel. <laughs> Where's the portage? Hey, on stuff. This is typical to our trips. Yeah, you have to carry everything. All right, we're safe now. Three things have happened. Well, what was that? Three bad things. We're good. The whole trip is going to be fine now. Yeah. Fake beer by accident. No uh, beer that we beer that we actually bought, but didn't uh, have a bottle opener, and it wasn't a twist off, and I took us to the wrong hotel. <laughs> so now we're in the red hotel. Andy, are you still speaking to me? Mm -hmm. Well, we're here. We've arrived. He's shaming me to the the floor. Mm. <laughs> we're getting there. We're oh, getting yeah. there. Yeah, they're, we're down to the last little bit, so even though it looks messy right now. Um, we've got the pack stuff, we've got harnesses on barrels, and uh, we got a racking created by the lovely and talented Kevin Callan, he, he did all that. I did all that, yeah. You should take a bow. That's because I used Lego when I was a kid. <laughs> see? <laughs> Thanks, Lego. Are we allowed to say, to say that? Is that like trademarked? Uh, say, um... Say, uh, clickable blocks. Thanks, clickable blocks. <laughs> Connectable blocks. Can I see what's in your bag, sir? It's a dead body, isn't it? Yes. Let it rest in peace. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm carrying a wand again that I have never thought I would carry. Uh, ever again in your life? Wait a minute. It's, it's, uh, so it's 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 yeah, so I, I got into Tomogamy years ago. We had to carry wand again, and I, you know, they're, they're sore on your back because it's a box <laughs> made out of wood. And the nanny made this new contraption with a tub and a strap and a harness system. And I went, bah, that's not made for a one again. <laughs> and uh, I'm wearing it all weekend. <laughs> yeah. It's comfortable. Yeah, he's going to present with it and everything. Well, I would. I would. <laughs> you can look, look, like it's not banging on your tailbone. Like, you know what yeah. I, I used to use these back in the day? Like, you just had wood banging on your tailbone. Yeah. Yeah, nice foam pad. Yeah. Shoulder straps. Yeah. Tump line. It looks nicer than a body bag. <laughs> yeah. It could be you. Yeah. 
So we're still setting up at the show. Uh, the show's gonna start soon. Uh, and uh, we're giving some boxes to this lovely <laughs> assistant. And she just makes a comment of, why would you have a box like that, uh, Andy? <laughs> and, and then I realize it says, market. <laughs> Some other word which I can't read exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, a mirror image. <laughs> Why I oughta. Well, Nova Crab is our neighbor. And they're just setting up now. That's Steve telling everybody what to do. And there's Chris, the owner of the company, moving all the boats. <laughs> what are, get his charge. <laughs> nice. Look at the colors. Look at that sexy man, too. Well, I like the gray. The gray's new, right? Yeah. That's nice. Another gray in here. Nice. Chris, I'd love to scratch that boat up for you. No, thanks. <laughs> thanks, you've done enough. <laughs> well, Andy, it's about to begin. The show's about to begin. Deep breath. Stay calm. Well, Friday night at Cunicopia, they're just about to open the doors, so I better get ready. I'm not presenting uh, tonight. I'm actually presenting Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so I'm just going to sign some books and catch some presentations and enjoy myself. Uh, and Saturday, start off, um, I'm going to do a Q&A with a bear biologist and a bunch of other campers, professional campers, and they're going to talk about how to deal with bears. I'm going to do a presentation on the top uh, rivers in Ontario to paddle. And I'm going to do, do um, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm going to do another. I'm going to be on stage with, uh, with uh, Jerry and his band doing some silly stuff. Going to be the MC uh, of the Alumni Chef. That's going to be cool. Love doing that. Sunday, brand new show, the, the Happy Camper Tips and Tricks. Really, that's a it's going to be a layer. Very informative, but really, really funny. And it's Q&A with Cliff and a bunch of other people as well. A big debate with Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be a busy show once again. Yeah. <laughs> this show is amazing. 100 speakers through the weekend. Look at this side. This is just one room. I think of, of four, no, Four down here, I think four more upstairs. I think there, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of rooms full of people, thousands and thousands of people, actually. I'm not nervous at all. No. Jerry, uh, we seem to not, not have a beer bottle opener. I've been mean, really messing up with Andy on this trip. I have more beer bottle openers than you could possibly really? imagine. Okay, I'm going to take the blue Pick one. your color. See that? See, there, there's the little tab right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Someone saved my life tonight. <laughs> I'm happy that it was me. How you doing, Mike? Not bad. How are you? <laughs> Good. My sizing rig. Hey. Oh, that's what you're doing. And looking at getting one of your paddles. That's cool. That's cool. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm filming you. <laughs> are you? <laughs> what was that again, Mike? This is the Badger paddle sizing rig. So this is a way to add a show like this to try a paddle to see if it fits you. So the rig down there, the the, uh, the blue is the water line. Boat. Oh, he's doing good too. Look at that. It's a perfect paddle for him. Right? You're doing the and Canadian see, see what I'm trying because like, a lot of people go to a paddle that's way too long, and then this hand is like up here, punching out too high. So this is a really good way just to get a feel without being on the water to see if that's the right shaft size. So this is right for me. Yeah. I'd put that in my living room so I just pretend I'm paddling. Yeah. While watching it's my good. YouTube videos. It's, we got a nice rally of happy camper paddles here too. Oh. Oh, a lot of them. Doesn't. Nice. All right. Uh, we have some uh, book designers and authors and people from Northern Tier Scouts here. Oh, you're all stressed out. What happened? Like, writing a book is an easy thing. It was a committee that created the book. It was a lot of work. It's a good book. It's Thank a really you. good book. It's the far Northland that's calling me away. As take I with my pack back to the road. It's the call on me of the forest in the north. As step I with the sunlight o'er my load From Lake Agnes by Louisa to Canippi I will go Where you see the loon and hear his plaintive wail If you're thinking in your inner heart to swagger in my step Then you've never been along the border trail It's the flash of paddle blades a-gleaming in the sun Of canoes softly skimming by the shore it's the tang of pine and bracken coming on the breeze That calls me to the waterway once more From Lake Agnes by Louisa to Canippi I will go Where you see the loon and hear his plaintive wail If you're thinking in your inner heart to 
a swagger in my step, then you've never been along the border trail. Yeah, so what, what, what spawned the whole idea? Uh, well, it was our 100th anniversary last year, and we had done kind of a uh, makeshift book in the 90s, and we wanted something that was a little, uh, a little nicer to tell the history of the Boy Scouts of America's program, which is called Northern Two. And uh, we hired uh, a researcher uh, called Dave, his name is Dave Kenny, uh, from Minneapolis, and he researched our history actually for us. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the writing part is a lot of work, but there's a lot more to it, getting the photos, getting the layout, and uh, it was fun, but I will never do it again. <laughs> I have appreciation for what Kevin does, because I could never do more than one book. Like, it's a lot of work. Oh, you'll change your mind, you'll change your mind. There's a bunch of YouTubers here. River Kings, look at these guys, there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> cameras taking pictures of cameras. I know, it's crazy. All right, he says I'm not a real man, because I have no, no. Met him uh, on a winter camping symposium. Yep. Had a great time. Yep. Great symposium. Thank you. Yeah, now he's at the show. So what's going on? Yeah, so I'm Ryan. I'm with a BEW, Broderman Exhibition Works, and we're selling a uh, titanium bow saw. This is a 36 inch. This is the strongest, lightest bow saw on the market. Um, it strings up like a traditional bow, so it's using the metal memory to hold the blade in. It's guaranteed for life. Warranty for life. Made in Minnesota. What's that? This can be two man, 36 inch. Two, uh, two person. Two person. Two person. Two person. <laughs> yeah, two person. <laughs> Got it. And we also do titanium utensils like sporks, spork spatulas, um, wood stove retention kits, uh, stove tools, trivets. It's all out of titanium, so super lightweight. And uh, these are legacy tools, and this is something you're going to hand down. Look at it like you would look at your Scandinavian hats. Okay, what's the trivet? Trivet is going to be. This set, so it goes on top of the wood stove. Great for cooking eggs, you know, you burn eggs, you know. So just put it on here. This collapses down, folds down into three pieces and folds flat. So put your pot on the top of the trip. Yep. So you take your pot. What was that? He, 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 yeah, he's pot. doing a better job at explaining this. <laughs> and it folds flat. I forgot the most important part. So three pieces, just locks in together. Sits on top of the wood stove. Helps dissipate the heat so when you're frying, cooking, things like that. Yep. So it's not that direct heat right on the bottom of your pan, especially if you're looking at like the anodized stuff. It really will make it stick. That's cool, that's a good idea. Yeah, so there's your really lightweight, right? Yeah, super yeah. light. That's titanium. Oh my god, then. And we do sell them in Jeez, stainless. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so here's stainless, so compare the two. Oh, right? yeah. Quite a bit heavier. About a $10 difference, but I mean, this doesn't yeah. weigh anything. Yeah. This weighs 1.6 ounces. Compared to this, I think we're at two. This is three and a half ounces, so almost half. Yeah, big difference. Two titanium G hooks. So to replace your standard clips, webbing clips, it's got a positive push up, so easy to tighten down, easy to release. Made out of titanium again. Doesn't weigh anything. Yeah. Well. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Being good idea. Bag. Good idea. Like that. And so it's just. Once, once again, you're a lot better than this guy. <laughs> like, like, why do we even get Ryan on the camera? Like, <laughs> he talks more. <laughs> He encourages me. He encourages me. So yeah, so, so you can really crank them down. Easy to release. Just push the tab up. You can also put a piece of uh, paracord on there. Just a quick release. Quick tight. Flip it up. Or flip it up, loosen it. Pull it completely out of the webbing. Yeah, that, that, that's that's awesome. Yep. Okay, wow. Yeah? Yeah. And so this is the first time at the show? First time in the show. Um, Pete's never done a show before. He brought in a couple of us salesmen to help him out. Um, and. You know, this was really born out of us being friends and us saying to him, hey, we need this tool. Would you be willing to make this tool? And he would. Pete's background is he's an engineer, he used to work for the government, hush hush, and has now put all of his efforts and passion into outdoor gear. And you can really tell by the quality of his work. It's pretty amazing stuff. And again, these are lifetime tools. They're never gonna break. And he guarantees them forever. Anything else? That's about it. That's a wrap. She has a nice hat. That's an old hat. It is. I've it's had it for a long too. time. Yeah. That's awesome. It's my favorite hat. Another day. Another day. Oh, here we go. Another day. That's our call. Who's going with us? Mommy. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Andy. What? Are you taking care of my son? <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. You're not getting any trouble, are you? No, ma'am. 
You're not going to pull my ear again, are you? <laughs> I'll be good. I'll make him be good, too. I promise. that your son paddles them. You should be proud of him. Oh, I'm very proud of him, yes. 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 He's on my birthday. Yes, no he's not. <laughs> he speaks highly of you though. <laughs> Happy birthday. That's our best Thank song. you. Hi Mike, how are you doing? I hear you the owner of Badger. Yeah, Badger Paddles. Yep, we yeah. met once actually. We had a beer, I, I think, at a, a patio one time. Oh, my son doesn't yeah. drink. <laughs> oh. That's what you think. <laughs> Andy, what's going on here? This good gentleman has uh, admired some of your video work and uh, in particular parts of it where it was story time. So he's come by to honor you uh, and uh, with a, the book that he would like you to sign, Kevin. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Next year, I'm keeping it simple, Kevin says. I'm going to be a mermaid. <laughs> You're messed up, man. You carried that book the whole trip to read it. <laughs> no, no. He he actually even asked me. I was quite honored to sign it, and I did. And uh, mm -hmm. and would you like to see the inscription? Oh, okay. To Ron, beware of Princess Kevin. <laughs> Have you read the book yet? No. <laughs> it's no. a good read. It's a good read. All right. Do you want him to read it to you? <laughs> he read most of it for us. Huh? <laughs> if, if I recall where we left off, last night, yes, Kevin had had enough of being a princess and was storming out after the class picture. It's not good when Kevin loses his stuff. This is one busy show. Oh look who I found! Hey! <laughs> you haven't been arrested yet. <laughs> no, I carry, I carry my own security. <laughs> you looked rough yesterday. What happened? Uh, 40 hours no sleep. That, that's uh yeah that put us all in zombie mode man oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we were whacked. Yeah. man so you're enjoying the show yes it's so far so good today right. now we can remember something yeah. <laughs> here we go presentation one kevin's a little nervous are you guys nervous after you sir oh i'm, I'm gonna be Where's called sir i'm totally nervous <laughs> Hi. awesome Gotta have my hands around the mud I'm watching the fish fry The first hot sip Opening my eyes French press, round fresh Getting back to percolator And escapade gourmet Special man they know I say The Swiss Smith Chocolate chip Dunk a little cookie in a Jim Beam Irish cream Baker's Mark the Amaretto It's all about being my cup Something that I'll never give up. I'll we'll have a seat before you would come. I can't pop it. I love this. Any children here between the ages of 5 and 11 that would like to come up and join us in the dance? Any children? Do it. I'll do it. We're all children here. Get over, kids. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we got it. We have to teach Kevin this dance. The kids already know it. They have it now. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not invited to rehearsal. <laughs> and with good That's reason. <laughs> so Kate, Kate's going to teach Kevin how to do this. Any other kids want to join us? Do you last chance? Come on, come on, man. Come on. Oh, The dog is singing this. He calls me Wiggle Butt. Right there. Right. Come on, Kevin. Wiggle that butt. He calls me Wiggle Butt. Yeah. 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 Twinkle toes. Twinkle toes. Twinkle toes. There you go. Oh, wow. He can reach his own toes. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Silly girl. Now stick your tongue out. Oh. There you go. And wet nose. You can do that one. Wet nose, yeah. With kisses. Pats and belly rub. Same oh, time. Look oh, look at this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 oh no yeah. one's ever loved me that much. Sorry. Yep, yep, yep. Very good. You think it? And you got it? I have no clue where we're You guys ready? Okay, you got you, you can do this. You were you were here last night. Yeah, you know how to do it. You know how to do it. Okay. Oh, well, wait a minute, he was you you just <laughs> And before we go any further, I always I have to introduce the proud parents, the McKays, James Ward. Is Melanie here? No, okay. B big applause for James. We've been doing this for like 50 years now. Does she want to join us? Heck yeah. She'll she join the back here. Okay, right. okay. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, Kevin? Yeah. That means yes. One, two, three, and.
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what we're gonna do? First of all, uh, Kevin has it has a. Uh, I brought my mother with me. Uh, <laughs> So what we're going to do is we want, and you have, you have this going, right? Okay, we want to sing Happy Birthday to Kevin's mom. Yeah! Is that Lenny? Mother Stickers! Mom Stickers! Mom Stickers! He's passing out Mother Stickers of his mom. Is she still dating? She is! <laughs> so, everybody, what are you guys? Okay, and what's your mom's name? Evelyn! Evelyn, so we're gonna sing happy birthday to Evelyn. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evelyn. Happy birthday to you. Well, we're all ready? We're ready. Yeah? We're ready. We can't yeah. window all them people come out. You're always ready, aren't you? Last, last year you almost got, got us kicked out. I know. That's right. right. Yeah, you're a little We're a little more behaved yeah, this year. Yeah. I'm trying to find that woman that actually said, what about the fire? Oh, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have been her. Oh, man. Oh, sorry. I might have mentioned roasting some nuts. But was... <laughs> you did. You did. <laughs> roasting nuts. Yeah, same thing. I remember oh, man. That. What's going on? Where are you going? Come in and see the aluminum chef. It's a very serious, yeah. very serious co co competition. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people coming in. So now we're going into. I have no voice whatsoever. Um, uh, it's good. Good thing I'm not the MC. <laughs> and we're going into the alumni. Alum no alumina. Oh, what? What's this called? Happy birthday, Mrs. Callan. <laughs> Well, there he is. There. The aluminum chef, right? Keep serious. Keep a serious face. <laughs> Don't show your true side. Okay, the alumina, whatever. I, I, uh, it's a camping cook-off. Uh, no voice. At the end of the day, though, lots of people for this. This is uh, one of the biggest things of the show. And uh, I got a few surprises. Yes, I, I'm the MC. <laughs> so, you've heard of this crazy Canadian guy named Kevin? Yeah, Kevin A. We always say Kevin A. It's not Kevin. It's Kevin A. <laughs> Oh, oh, you got one. Happy that's, birthday. That's my mother. I know. Happy Start birthday, mom. <laughs> this is where it's happening. This is where it's this happening. happening. What's up, my yeah. man? What's Kevin up, Kevin? Kevin? Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Go, girl. Go, girl. <laughs> so are you saying I look like a girl? If your girls you look should. this hairy, my goodness, you got to do something about that in you Canada. You should be fine with anybody. Yeah. And, you know, just be cool about it, okay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's 2024. <laughs> no judgments. Right. So you're nervous about this. You might lose. I might, but I won't. Um, <laughs> no, I might lose. Yeah, come on this way, Kevin. Oh, sorry. I don't want you to get yeah. dirt. No, I, I, I'm always a little bit nervous. This is always so many wild cards and like, you know, that hot mix of comedy and cooking and then, uh, you know, trying to really appeal to the judges uh, who have a wide variety of perspective and palate. Uh, it really does, it really tests even the best of us. How many $20, $20 bills do you have in your pocket? Uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think I... Because that's the only way you're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> i got to pay the judges this year? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean, this year? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this year. This year. What's it like being in the mind of Kevin Callan before he goes on stage? I'm so hyper. The only time I get nervous is actually if my family members are in there. Like, my mother once um, was at one of my shows. I, I was like, I'm going to poop myself. Uh, <laughs> and the reason why is... Like I can talk to these people, they don't, they don't really know me, right? Yeah. So, but my mom, you know, she gave birth to me, right? So, that didn't happen. I don't remember that happening. You're an idiot. Yeah, that's really. Yeah, it was going to happen. So, but no, uh, um, uh, I say that actually, if, if you just know the audience moderately, yeah, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. But my mom. Well, you're a shy kid that actually couldn't talk until you were like, like I stuttered until I was in grade eleven. Um, yeah, 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 so now I'm on stage. 
I know uh, another thing that would make you nervous. What? If Gary was out there. Gary the puppet. You know Gary the oh, puppet. Yeah. He's so wrong. <laughs> so I, I, and tomorrow I, I show in clips of him that nobody's ever seen. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. And we should not see them. What this fire needs is a little of Gary's gold. Sundown, you better take care. If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs. Are you nervous? No, not at all. You look nervous. Really? No, you don't. You're just psyching me out. I know you. Yeah, no. Hey, hey, hey. I let Luke taste it. He liked it. One of my latest dehydration items is chocolate mousse. Really? You've got a whole mousse in there and dehydrated? Uh, I tried. What's this for? In case anything goes wrong, we do have a fire extinguisher. I was going to place it on the main stage just in case, because even if I'm sitting at the back of the room, I feel like you guys might be able to grab you it quicker. To put it next to Marty. This is going to be an adventure. Mm, oh, oh. Just add water. That's my mind. <laughs> Well, good luck. Funny. Thank good luck. you. Thank you so much, yeah. and you yeah. go get them. And thanks for stealing my job. So I, I used to be a cook oh, on this, and now they just put me to the MC. Yeah. You know. The, <laughs> Play your strengths, Kevin. Play yeah. your strengths. Yeah. I, I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. Oh, they changed the whole format, too. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. Look at everybody. Oh. Whoa. Look at it. Oh. Whoa. A lot of people. Yay! Woo! Woo! All right. Woo! All right. Let's let's do a wave. <laughs> try and try and uh, try and pal into that. Be tough. <laughs> Let me get the crowd behind you. Let me get the crowd behind you. Got my best. All right. All right. Oh, you want? I thought you wanted my back. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? I think I'm gonna crush him. Yeah? I'm gonna crush him. What, you gonna sit on him? James Beard, <laughs> award winning chef. No contest. No contest. It's me. Have you won last year, didn't you? No. Who won last year? It was Luke. I had, oh, I had Luke. three. I had three of the nine votes. So Luke. It was close. Luke, Luke, he always Luke wins. Had, well, you know, he's got that thing with all of his big knives and he thinks he's a big man with all those big knives. Big facade, that's what I call yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me? <laughs> I don't get this first. Where is that thing? Where did it? I don't need no big knife. <laughs> you can tell I'm in the United States of America. <laughs> if I was in Canada, we'd be done now. <laughs> so we got a lot of people here. We got a lot of cameras here. We have a lot of enthusiastic paddlers, and we have judges. Again, Mac Attack, Trudging Hip, and Security Guard. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Very good. Very good. Very, yeah, very good. good. Nice and crispy. And the way you said it. Very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. It's delicious. I want to eat the whole bowl. Delicious. I want to eat the whole bowl. <laughs> wow. Luke, that's good. Nice. Oh. Crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> I love the youth. They, just, they tell the truth right off the bat. Uh, crunchy. Crunchy. <laughs> So is breakfast cereal. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, last day of Knucopia. I got two more presentations today. Got stuff for my throat. Gargled my throat. Gingered my throat. Mint teed my throat. <laughs> Lost my voice. But it'll, it'll be good. I'll just get the audience to help with the presentation. Ha. Good show. Good tour. Now off to some smaller venues like libraries, nature clubs, and a bunch of volunteer stuff. Which is really cool. Okay, first off this morning, Cliff Jacobson and a bunch of all the other experts um, are doing a QA with the audience. Could be fun. Look, I found I found her again. Yay! You guys bought you bought something. It's your yes. lucky day, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it is my lucky day. What'd you buy? What'd you buy? 
good. One of Andy's packs. Oh, which one? Actually, is that in the camper? Three of them. Oh, you got packs, that. Yeah. So. I that I'm I yeah. That's what I'm gonna get for my solo trips. Right. Yeah. One in the front, one in the back. Well, and that's what I'm thinking. I you know I, I, did we tell you about the border route? We did the border route. Yeah. yeah we told you that. It's kind of my brainstorm, and I'm to be feeling a lot of adrenaline flowing thinking about it is to do it solo. Oh. No, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do it solo together. <laughs> but this would be a great system. So I'm thinking, got a small food barrel. Yeah. One person, I don't need that yeah. much. You know, I need That's what I was thinking, but, putting a barrel in one. But then the tent, and you know, so I, I'm going for a one portage. Yeah. Carry, in most cases, going through there, there's some short ones that are super duper rocky, and you know, you're lucky you can even walk up them sometimes. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, but those are few and far between, and there's not that many, like 39 portages on that route from Crane Lake to uh, South Fowl, but I want to continue on the Pigeon and, and do the Port Charlotte wow. and the nine mile portage. Grand Portage. So that's my goal. <laughs> so you're going to test those packs for sure? I am. Yeah. All right, we have Powell Plant Planner. And you're just going to talk because I can't talk anymore. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, so Paddle Planner is, uh, for example, Google Directions for paddling. Uh, and we, uh, so for example, if you're trying to figure out on a car trip, you're going to start at point A and go to point B, how long is that going to take me? That's what we do for paddling. Uh, so we cover a lot of areas like uh, Boundary Waters, Quetico, Algonquin, and a lot of other ma major paddling areas. And uh, so you'll just click on one point, click on another point, it'll tell you all of your, uh, your paddling and your portaging and all of that. So that's the, the basics, but we also do have campsite reviews and photos and such that people have contributed. So what made you start this? Uh, I, about 15 years ago, I was trying to plan my own trip for the very first time. I had gone on trips for 10 years with my, with my dad, but uh, he was doing all the planning. And so the very first time I was trying to do it, I was like, this is really hard, trying to figure out how long it's going to take me to get from one place to another. There has to be another way to do it. Someone had to, do, had to have done something like Google Directions. And I searched for about five months, couldn't find it. Uh, so I thought, well, this would be a fun personal project to try and figure out how to do this. And so I started doing that and uh, just kind of threw it out on the internet and a lot of people loved it and um, someone else said, hey, this is a, would be a great business idea, maybe we can expand this and grow this. And so uh, he became my partner, Jay Harris. Um, so that's, it's just kind of grown from there. That's awesome. I, I talked to uh, Ben uh, earlier in the year about it and then I thought, hey, he's at the show. Let's, let's talk about his, uh, his uh, I love planning. I don't plan trips at all. <laughs> Uh, I got a thing, um, so I do, I'm obsessed by it. My buddy Andy, uh, it's, he says, it's my turn to organize this year's trip. I'm like, well, okay, okay. All right, where are we going? Well, we're going for three weeks, Kevin, but I'm not gonna tell you where we're going. And that would drive you crazy too, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I'm going nuts. I, I, and he's giggling away, and, but his response was like, well, why are we doing this? And he goes, because that's all you do is plan. It's time for you just to go. And yeah, it's going to drive me crazy. So I got Kimmy here. I got Kimmy here, and uh, she's the first actually to try on the Happy Camper pack for Camp Outlooks. <laughs> and she's going to try a tump for the first time in her life. So I gotta um, take the hat off. There you go. And then so wait, put it down a little bit, yeah, or a little bit higher. Okay. So I had a whole load in that. Oh, yeah. You're using your upper body, not your pelvis. Okay. For it. Yeah, especially and going up a hill. Like how? You and then if you want to tighten it, you just yeah. yank that to tighten it. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and then everything kind of sets up higher. Yeah. And it's not yeah. weighing on your shoulders. Yeah. So sometimes you need to take the tump off and just use that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just uh, there you go. And it, happy camper, right there. Nice blue pack. The money for that goes to Camp Outlook to get youth out, out youth at risk and um, awesome. Mom, everybody's signing you. Look at this. <laughs> That's awesome. Did you sign my mother's card? <laughs> oh, man. It's her birthday. You want to sign her card? Sure. Happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> well, Dennis from Canoe Hard Adventure. 
Yo, know, can you tell a little bit about my son? Is he behaving? Your son's behaving, but thank you. Driving up here to Canucopia with you in the back seat of the car with me was a total delight. Thanks for joining me on the journey. Yeah, Dennis was the one who made this up. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he runs a business, uh, and he also made the stickers, uh, the uh, mom stickers. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Evelyn. Well, thank you. Thank well, you, Dennis. I really appreciate it. Nah. <laughs> Look who I found. The show is breaking down, but there's still <laughs> famous people hanging around. Save the yeah. uh, the best for last, right? Yeah. Oh, that, yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, this is Ken. Ken Whiting, right? Ken, Ken Whiting. Yeah. Yes, uh, really well-known paddler for many, many years. Won a lot of awards. Uh, Paddle TV. Paddle TV? Yeah. And just nice guy. Nice guy. Well, that's pretty yeah. nice of you. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Um, I wish I could say the same, I mean. <laughs> oh, I've never liked the guy. <laughs> He's very ugly. Not very attractive whatsoever. He's got that TV face. Uh. <laughs> he's good. He's good. This is why he's been around for many, many years. He's good. Show's over. And they are packed up. We're heading down the road for a bit to get a hotel. I think Andy is waiting. <laughs> Can't wait for that. He's, you're booting it, man. You're booting it. <laughs> good show. Check it out. If you haven't, Canucopia, Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> Can you have a little whistle? Have a little whistle. <laughs> well, Andy, it's a good thing I helped you drive through Chicago. I, I, yeah. had, I had my eyes closed. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. You're a good driver, but not as, you know, as good of a navigator as my son. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's far better, but, you know. <laughs> he has mad navigation skills. He's, <laughs> he's a phenom. <laughs> And you know, Chicago wasn't that bad, but I, you know, I did grasp the seat a few times. <laughs> that was my seat. <laughs> oh, we're going to Canada. We're going to Canada. We're at the border. Oh, Andy, thanks for driving. Oh, well, it's my pleasure. You, you remembered your passport, did you? Oh dear. Oh dear. No, I, I don't. I, I, I didn't think I needed one because I'm just a card. <laughs> just a piece of pills, crystal board. Well. There might be trouble. We'll see. Oh, I'll just tell him that Kevin Callan's my son and we'll be fine. Well, that works for me all the time. 